Hey people, Flying Soul still alive from Novosibirsk and today is a special video because I want just to get deep on the reason why I actually left my country because as I told you in, in, a, in a previous video that I link it here I left Italy not because I wanted to live in Russia because I really wanted to escape from my country but before getting into the reason why I left because of course there are negative reasons uh, things that I don't like about Italy. Let's say what I do like about my country. Well, first of all, food. For, for sure, even if I tried so many different cuisines in different countries, so, which means the original one, I still prefer the Italian food. Uh, I think that our cuisine is the best in the world because we have very, with, with very simple ingredients, we can make delicious food. And the variety and the quality is really high in Italy. Second is because of history. That's probably the main reason why Italy is famous all over the world. And yeah, I mean, if we talk about co uh, the culture, uh, the culture, Italian culture, the ancient Italian culture, uh, architecture, whatever, arts, I mean, for sure, it, there is a reason to love this country. Half of the world heritage is in Italy. Uh, third, it's nature. Um, in Italy we have all kinds of nature possible from wonderful mountains to 7,000 uh, kilometers of coasts and uh, all like hills and whatever like lands that you can find any kind of different type of nature which is amazing really beautiful. But apart from these which you can say yeah it's a lot well actually there are a lot of negative things so let's get into it. First of all, the things that I hate the most about my country and let's talk about like the period of time which I lived in. I'm not talking about the whole history of my country but uh, related to the life that I lived in Italy. So the first, the first thing is the laziness. Italians are extremely lazy. Okay, let's say you can say that a lot of people in the world are lazy and for sure they are. Uh, but I think we are special in it and uh, this is the things that annoys me the most everything is so slow and a lot of things don't work in Italy just because people are lazy and this sucks so much that really I can't stand it now that I got used to living in Russia but even before when I, when I increased my travels around the world I was always pissed every time I come back to my I came back to my country that the things work so slowly when they work actually when they work actually and this is the, really the, the worst thing and the things that every time I go back to my country I feel so bad about second is that Italian Italian when I say Italian okay it's geographical problem that's the reason why I left my country it's not about being Italian because it makes no sense even if you are Italian from generation Still, Italy is quite a, a young country. It has like a little bit more than 150 years. So we were very divided and we are culturally very different from each other. But that's one thing that uh, connect all of us and it's like being opportunistic. So Italians just like, you know, they don't care about anything as long they can get something from it. So in that case, they become very interested in it. And they do not work hard to get what they want. They just wait the situation when they can get it. And that's something that really sucks. I mean, people are not, uh, in general, good-hearted in Italy. And I'm talking about the geographical region, because even people that move to my country and now they, they speak the language and live there from other culture, they become even worse than Italians themselves. Uh, so that's why I can't blame or bashing just only Italians because it, being Italian it means not so much. Being Italian means like living in my country and speak the language. And that's something that really sucks. And I don't like Italians for this reason. Of course, of course it's logical that there are some good people, but when you live in an environment that works that way, in some way you are, you tend to be the same people. You tend, you tend to be the, the same, but that's logical. 
Not that you were, but you tend to be. So it's very difficult because you would be like an outsider in Italy if you do not act like other people act. And just to make you some very simple example, to be stuck to their duties, they usually are happy about it. If they can avoid to pay taxes, not avoid, when they pay tax, when they do not pay taxes, so they are illegally actually doing something. I'm not talking about uh, legally avoiding paying taxes, but I, when you illegally do it and nobody pay attention to it, you feel cool because you didn't pay the taxes. At the same, and the same about like, I don't know, taking any public transport, do not pay the ticket. And you feel cool if there, there is no one who controls your ticket and you just get a free ride on the bus. That's something that really, I don't know, blows my mind. I mean, I've been to Norway and in Norway, there are not even people who control your ticket because you just paid it. You just paid, you don't think about like, well, I might, I might take it a right, I might take a free ride. Why? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm using a service and I pay for it. So that's why many things in Italy do not work. That's because of the mentality of Italians. And that's, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting so pissed. And every time I go back to Italy, it's worse and worse. Now that I get used here, then when you have a problem, you can solve it like in maximum 24 hours. In Italy, it takes years when well, they actually solve it because they usually they don't and this really i mean ah, i'm so pissed off but that's why i, I really don't want to go back to italy for living i won't say i i can't say that i will never go back to italy but i will do my best not to go back to live in that country until it i mean something that uh brings me there for other reasons or because i don't know there are no other options then i have two but really, I don't want to go back to Italy because this situation for me are, oh, are extremely bad. So in general, connected to the, this, the, the, the things that people, to the laziness of the people, uh, and other things that really like me, it's shocking is that they have like limited time of working. I mean, they have this break, lunch break, that it, it might it might last for three hours. For what? fucking reason do you close a service to the public for three hours it makes absolutely no sense and that's why when you have a problem everything just lasts longer and longer because people just do not work they have lunch break they have weekends i mean if you especially if you if you work in a private sphere you can't allow yourself in a technological world that works so fast to just close down for a weekend makes no sense shops i mean when normal people have a chance to go to the shop when usually in the evening or during the weekend well that's exactly when they close the shops it's just make me crazy if i need something here in russia at any time i can go out from home and take it in italy no you have to wait maybe two days or for example you need medicine and there are like few pharmacies that are open all night and you have to know where they are because maybe they you have to to drive for about five kilometers in order to find a an, an, uh, pharmacy open at night and that's just absolutely crazy and the same of course is in the healthcare and everything connected to it let's not talk about the public administration because the, this is the worst really they don't for example and not only the, the public administration, but even private, they don't know what a, an email is. You send them an email like they do not answer. They just don't pay attention to it. You must pick up the phone and they don't answer to the phone either. So really, it's crazy. That, that's something that blows my mind. You can't communicate with the Italian public administration and sometimes even with private services or by phone or by email. Just forget about the emails. They don't read emails. They don't. <laughs> Really, they don't use technology in a proper way. That's why Italy is the fourth world when it comes to technology. Internet connection is extremely slow. There are several parts of the country that everywhere is inhabited. You know, my country everywhere, but still there are many villages that have no internet connection. That's crazy. Of course, let's not talk about the fast connection because that's just only in the biggest city. And the prices? are extremely expensive so you got the worst service for the highest price nevertheless people complain all the time so we have a saying in italy that uh, complaining is, is our national sport 
because really people can't stop complaining. They waste so much energy in complaining. It's so funny that they, um, you know, they always try, you know, as I told you, to take advantages of the situation, don't pay taxes, get a free ride, whatever. So, but when it comes to some kind of uh, rights, they demand it to get it. I mean, you just, you were avoiding doing your, I mean, fulfilling your duties, but now you want your rights. That's so like really impossible. And so people complain, complains, complains about everything, but they do nothing. And then, for example, and other things that probably is the things that really piss me off the most is that Italian people are fake, you know? They, um, by culture in Italy, we tend to be um, nice to strangers. And uh, this kind of uh, behavior, it's like it covers the real feeling and the real idea that Italians have towards other people. Now, you also have to know that Italian people are quite racist because they are nice to strangers as long as they perceive you that you are on the same level of them with whom you are talking. Because for example, if you are an illegal immigrant or you are a gypsy, then you are treated like trash, absolutely. So the problem is that you can't rely on Italians, absolutely. And since I am the most reliable person I know, I, that, that's pissed me off a lot, really, because you talk to people and they are very friendly. They say, yeah, let's do this, let's do that. You make agreement with them and they, they just completely forget about what they say because they just talk. The problem with Italians is just blah, 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 blah. I do nothing, as I said it before. These things really, the, the things that I can't, I can't really stand about Italians. And that's probably the main reason, of course, connected to all the others, why I left. And still about complaining, you know, Italians always complain about others, which means that it's, not, it's never your fault. I mean, an Italian would never admit to be guilty. Never, in every situation, even in front of evidence, even in front of evidence, it's always others' fault. It's never they fault. So, if you connect all the things that I told you until now, I just like the picture that you have of Italians is extremely bad. But I repeat, I want to say that of course not all the Italians are like this. And again, not just Italians, but the people who are living in Italy and that speak the language. They are like this, mostly. And that's because it's a cultural, geographical culture. So really, that's the, those are the things that really I mean, I, I can't stand to my country. And these are the real reason why I left. Last but not least, of course, you know that I'm fighting my own war against feminism because I, I think it, it mainly destroyed the West in terms of society. And of course, uh, and make everything even worse because of that. Because even the communication among, among sex, among the women and, and men became extremely bad and I already was suffering while I was living in Italy so yeah all this thing connected to these are the real reason why I left my country so that's all for now thank you for watching subscribe and see you for the next video bye bye